So today, let's make inasal. This is very, very easy to prepare. Kapag ka sinabing inasal, ibig sabihin po niyan is to grill or iihaw mo. Napakasimple po ng marinade. So let's start first by preparing it. Pwede mong pagsamasamahin sa blender. Kung wala ka namang blender, you can use a mortar and pestle. No? Dikdikin mo lang together. I have here calamansi juice. This is ginger. This is lemongrass. I've chopped the lemongrass. Use the white parts. And fresh milk. Bakit may fresh milk? Because milk is a natural tenderizer for your meats. So para mas tender and juicy, I put fresh milk. You can also put yogurt. You put some patis or fish sauce. Just a splash. A splash of coconut vinegar pwede din namang ordinary vinegar and of course salt and pepper black pepper and some salt i-blender mo lang hanggang maging smooth all right one recipe of the marinade is good for approximately one kilo of meat. Dinoble ko po to because I'm, I have here two kilos of chicken. These are chicken uh, quarters, leg quarters. No? So, i-massage mo lang yan. I have also pork, but I'm going to use, lagay ko na lang dito sa bowl. I'm, I'm just going to salt the pork. Although, pwede mo din naman gamitin tong marinade na to. Yung inasal marinade for your pork. But today, I'm using it only for the chicken. So, yan. I-massage-massage mo lang. And then, ibabad mo for around an hour. Pwede ding up to two hours. Or pwede ring overnight. Para mas manuot yung, yung lasa nung marinade. No? So, make sure na all corners ay talagang well-covered. So, let's set that aside. And then, punta tayo sa pork. For the pork, I'll just season it with some salt. Bongga to. Kasi, papabonggahin natin ngayon, gagawin natin siyang boodle fight. But, this is a modified boodle fight. Ano po yun? Parang quarantine restrictions lang, di ba? Because, of course, syempre, it's pandemic, no? Maganda, may konti ding physical distancing while we are eating. So, i-massage-massage mo lang yung pork with salt. I also have here, this is uh, catfish or hito. I'm just going to season it with some salt as well. Bago tayo pumunta dun sa ating ihawan. And then I have here bangus. Season with salt. Okay. And then the bangus, lalagyan natin ng filling sa loob. You can put tomatoes, onions, napakasimple lang po. Pwede ka din maglagay ng konting pounded garlic, black pepper. Alright, so the fish. Now, yung bangus, you have two options. Pwede mo din naman siyang iihaw ng ganito na, but to keep it... Uh, Moist and tender, what I do is, binabalot ko siya sa aluminum foil. So, I'm going to get aluminum foil. Alright, I have here two sheets of aluminum foil. Ibabalot mo lang na ganyan. O, oh, ba? Pwede din naman sa dahon ng saging. Walang problema yon. Bongga, di ba? Parang fiesta. Ang daming puro seafood and everything. O lalo, pagka napagsama-sama na natin yan mamaya. O yan. So, finish na yan. Finish na to. And I have here also the pusit. This is the pusit lumot. You season it with some salt. And lalagyan din natin to ng kamatis, sibuyas, sa loob. Nilinis na po ito. Hindi ko pinapatanggal yung tinta kasi parang mas gusto ko yung nagbe-burst. Kaya makikita mo, no, ayan, no, maitim-itim. 
put uh, kamatis and sibuyas inside. Don't forget to season. And then I have here suwahe. The suwahe, we will just season it with salt and then iihawin din. No, napaka simple. Okay. How messy is that? But this is, ito yung masarap na messy. So I have here my, my fish. I have here my pusit. And then I have the uh, chicken in a sal. So hihintayin ko lang to ito siguro yung huli kong ibababad. Ah, ibababad tuloy. Iihaw because gusto kong manuot yung flavors. And I have the liempo. So dadalhin namin to doon sa aming grill so we can start grilling. Okay? So now let's grill! Ang init-init dito and napakagandang indication yan na ready na yung iyong ihawan. So first, no, pinapahiran ko ng mantika para siguradong hindi maninikit yung ating mga iihawin. So, let's start with the, uh, ito yung ating giant bangus. Ano na rin tayo dito ng pork. For the chicken, you always grill skin side down. Hiniwa-hiwaan ko yung chicken, mapapansin mo, para mas mabilis silang ma, uh, hanggang loob is talagang maluto. Okay? And then, More pork. And then, mag-ihaw na din tayo ng pusit. Ihuhuli na natin yung hipon since mabilis naman yun maluto. Okay, the pusit. Pag nag-iihaw tayo, o meron pa pala tayong hito, no? So, iiwasan mo yung mayat mayamong iniikot-ikot because you want it to really caramelize and you want to achieve the grill marks, no? So, hintayin mo bago mo iikot-ikot. Pwede mo din naman silipin kasi baka nasusunog na. Oh, ayan, di ba? You see the nice marks? Oh. So, kaya kailangan preheated talaga yung iyong mantika. And magandang ipahid natin dito is yung ginawa nating chicken oil. Nakukunin nga natin yung chicken oil. So, this is the chicken oil or garlic oil lang pala kasi wala namang nagpapanggap na chicken oil. Yan. So, you just use this para madilaw-dilaw yung iyong products. And of course, the flavor of the garlic. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yung chicken inasal ko is hindi ko nilagyan ng garlic yung yung marinade because yung chicken oil ang babawi magpapabawi ng garlic flavor. Ooh, be careful! Be mindful lang because for the fish, mabilis po maluto yan. So katulad nitong aking uh, catfish, luto na po ito. Yung hito. So kailangan, ilalagay ko siya sa sheet pan. No? So pagkalagay mo sa sheet pan, Meron kang aluminum foil, no? Tatakpan lang natin 'yan ng aluminum foil para uh, for it to remain moist and juicy. Pati yung ating squid, mabilis lang siyang uh, yung ating uh, pusit. The pusit lumot. Do not overcook it. Mabilis na mabilis lang po 'yan. Para hindi siya nagiging rubbery. Mahirap po mag-ihaw ha? Kasi po, hindi mo talaga makokontrol ang temperature pagka nag-ihaw ka. Hindi katulad pag nag-bake ka, makokontrol mo sa setting ng oven. Pag po nag-ihaw ka, hindi. Talagang kailangan nakabantay. Okay, malapit na din tong ating chicken. Oy, medyo nasunog ko na yung isa. Pasensya na po. So, the pork. Kuha din tayo ng sheet pan for the pork. Okay, the chicken. Nicely caramelized. Mag magluto tayo ng shrimps. No, para, yan. So, the shrimps, mapapansin mo, th th these are suwahe. Ito ang pinakamabilis na 
mag-grill. So, pag nag-orange na siya, luto na siya. Binabaliktad ko lang. Okay, so let's get the sheet pan. Nakita mo, no? Tumutulo pa yung juices. Because when you are cooking uh, your seafood or anything in a very hot grill, talagang nare-retain yung moisture sa loob. Ito lang talaga ang challenge dito. Para ka nagpa-facial sa init. O, pero tignan mo naman ang kakainin mo, di ba? Matapos ang pinagdaanan mo. Very rewarding naman yan. Okay, the hito or the catfish. Perfect. For the bangus, pag firm na siya, kasi medyo makapal yung bangus, kaya medyo matagal natin siyang iniihaw, pagka nag-firm na siya, luto na yan. Do not overcook it as well. So, syempre, hindi naman lahat ng bisita mo dun sa iyong budel fight ay gusto ng inihaw. So, let's make another uh, dish. Seafood also. This is your buttered garlic seafood. Meron tayong crabs and meron tayo ditong shrimps. No? Very easy to prepare. Pinainit ko na yung aking uh, kaserola dito. And I'm just going to put here mga one cup of good butter. Ayan, lagay mo lang. So, iiwan natin yan, pero babalikan. Okay? So, lagay mo lang yan dyan, and then I have here garlic. Habang tinutunaw natin yung butter, of course, any inasal is not complete without the chicken oil. Pero kasi dito sa amin, ang mga tao, ayaw nila ng masyadong may chicken fats. So, let's make it a parang healthier version garlic oil lang. Napakasimple. I have here vegetable oil into my small casserola. Vegetable oil. And then I have here pounded garlic with the skin on. Include the skin because lahat ng aroma is nandun. And then some anato seeds or achuete seeds. And a bit of salt. Okay. And then you just heat it over medium flame hanggang mag-extract yung flavors ng garlic and maging orange yung kulay ng iyong mantika. Of course, if you want the traditional na, na chicken oil, what you can do is you can buy chicken skin or chicken fats and then isama mo dyan hanggang mag-render. And talaga naman masarap. Okay? So... I'm melting here the butter. Medyo mukhang, mukhang maghi, pinaghihintay tayo, pero babalikan pa din. O, di ba? Ganun yung maganda. Kahit pinaghihintay ka, babalikan at babalikan mo pa rin. Let's make the ensalada first. So, I have here cherry tomatoes that I've uh, cut into half. Pwede din naman ordinary tomatoes. Nagpapasusyan lang po ako ngayon. Pero kung ang meron pa is ordinary, you just chop-chop it into smaller pieces. And then I have here red onions that I've uh, sliced as well. This is Victoria salted egg. no From Victoria Laguna. Talagang naglalangis-langis. And then this is optional, but I always love putting wansoy. Kung ayaw mo naman ng wansoy, Pwede mong maglagyan. No problem. You just toss them together. Pwede mong lagyan ng konting patis. Pero haya, ah, hayaan ko nang sa table na silang maglagay ng patis mamaya. Let's just keep it plain like this. Okay. So that's our ensalada. Pwede mo din lagyan ng konting sugar. Be gentle with the patties because remember, you're putting salted egg. Maalat na po. Okay? The ensalada is ready. And then, may wine ako dito kasi hindi ko siya iinumin. Inalagay ko siya dito sa aking buttered seafood. So, pag natunaw na yung, yung butter mo, you just get some garlic. 
Lagyan mo lang ng garlic yan. Around one fourth cup. And then you put first your crabs. Look at the crabs. Diba? Tingnan mo naman yung aliging yan. Deadly delicious. Mas, ma mas matagal po maluto ang crabs compared dito sa shrimps. So, uunahin natin yan. And then, the wine is not here for you to drink. Pero kung may pinagdadaanan ka, why not? O, di ba? O, mm, wala naman po ako masyadong pinagdadaanan. Gusto ko lang tikman yung wine because you want to make sure na magandang quality din naman yung wine na ilalagay mo dito. Ayan. Nagyan mo lang ng konting wine. No? The acidity in the wine matatanggal yung mga lansa sa seafood. Don't worry, hindi ka po malalasing. You just want the acidity, the sweetness, and all the nice flavors in the wine. Kaya ko lang siya nilagay dito sa wine glass is para natatansya ko yung pagbubuhos and syempre, para mas magandang tignan, di ba? Instagramable. Pag kasi dito, baka maibuhos mo lahat, di ba? Okay, so let's cook this for around 2 to 3 minutes before you put in your shrimps. And then you just season it with salt and pepper and then that's it. No, Hindi dapat masyadong complicated. O ba? Ang ulam, ang life, hindi dapat masyadong complicated. Because pagdating dun sa iyong boodle fight mamaya, you give your guests or yourself the options kung ano yung mga gusto mong sausawan na ilagay. Maglalagay tayo mamaya ng the ensalada, maglalagay ka ng alamang, maglalagay ka ng patis, maglalagay ka ng kalamansi. Oh, and meron ka ditong garlic oil. Look at, speaking of the garlic oil, oh yan, nagparamdam. ba? Oh, look. If you want to make a spicy garlic oil, lagyan mo lang yan ng siling labuyo or chili flakes. Ganun lang kasimple. So, let's wait for this. Okay, pwede mong i-mix. Mix ng konti. Pero wag naman masyado, baka madurog. Pwede mong palagyan ng konting wine. Hindi ka po talaga malalasing dyan, promise. Yung sweetness lang yung habol mo dyan. And the nice flavors. O ba pagka masaya ka, Nagwa-wine cup for sweetness and the nice flavors. Hindi para makalimot. <laughs> diba? Dapat laging ganon. Wine is there for sweetness and the nice flavors. <laughs> o, syempre, huwag mong kakalimutan palagi ang sarili mo. Kailangan ang number one na pasasayahin mo ay yung sarili mo. Kaso hindi malamig. Mas masarap ang white wine pag malamig. ba? So, the garlic oil, once naaamoy mo na yung bawang, nag-infuse na, no? Nag-infuse na yung garlic dun sa mantika mo. And you now see the nice orange color. Oh, ready na yan. Well, hindi mo na kailangan tostahin yung bawang. Pero if you want it toasted naman because gusto mong ilagay sa ibabaw ng kanin, you can cook it longer. W wala naman din problema doon. Actually, pwede mo pang dagdagan ng mantika yan eh. Kung may tumawag sa yung may mga dadating ka pang visitors. Okay, as you can see, the crab is half cooked. Ilalagay ko na yung aking shrimp sa ibabaw and then ito is mabilis lang of course kapag ka nag orange okay na yan okay so pag nag orange yan it's ready y you don't want the garlic to burn because if you burn it it will taste bitter so ayaw mo ng bitter you don't want bitterness in your life so pinatay ko na yung apoy and this is ready pwede mo siyang salain no you can uh, make sala sala para yung oil lang yung nakikita mo, magagamit mo. But if you want that rustic feel na may bawang, may atuete seeds, or pwede mo din naman isama yan, no problem. 
So we set it aside. And then ito is we are waiting for our shrimps to turn orange. So, nag-orange na yung ibang shrimps. And katulad nito, malapit na din ito. Tatakpan ko lang siya. I'm going to turn off the flame. Tatakpan ko and then iiwan ko na yan dito. No? Because you don't want to overcook your seafood. Nagiging rubbery. So, let's just leave it here to keep it moist and juicy, tender. Hanggang, uh, until we're ready to, to assemble the, uh, the Buddha fight. Rawr! Ayan, ang favorite part ko is the tasting. Actually, hindi na po tasting to. Ito ay big letter L, no? Or mukbang na talaga. So, ay nako. Ito na yung mga niluto natin and I've arranged it nicely. Ito yung tinatawag ko, yung binabanggit ko sa inyo kaninang modified uh, boodle fight. Nandiyan pa din siya. Pero, alam mo, may konting distancing na hindi ka dyan mismo kakain. Or, kung talagang you feel uncomfortable, pwede ka din maglagay ng pinggan dito. O, ba diba, tapos, kukuha pa din sila dyan. The same concept that you are in one table, pero medyo, alam mo yon medyo yun nga, may konting distancing. So, yun niluto natin. This is the chicken in a sal na inihaw natin kanina. O, tatanggalin ko to kasi ako pa lang naman ng, <laughs> nandito. And then, of course, just like any boodle fight, you want to prepare your set of condiments, no? So, meron ako ditong uh, kalamansi. Wala pala akong nalagyan ng suka. So, get your suka. You put suka. Meron kang kalamansi. Meron kang sile. And of course, kung halimbawa may mga bisita kang late, habang naghihintay ka, dapat meron kang pinapapapak sa mga hmm, bisita mo. So, get some chicharon. At sara. Na pala kayong kagat ko. Uh, garlic oil. I also have here alamang. And of course, for the dessert, fruits. And yung ginawa nating ensalada. So, tikman muna natin. Ang pinapagamit kong, siyempre, dapat nakakamay ka. Kung kayo-kayo lang. Pero kung may bisita kang iba, pwede kang mag-modified. O, tikman natin yung ating nilutong chicken in a salo. Mm. Kahit na it's very tender, it's very juicy, kahit na one hour lang natin siyang naibabad, eh siyempre, o, oh, lalagyan pala natin yung rice natin ng garlic oil. Mm. Mm. It's so delicious. Pero alam mo yun, hindi siya pretentious. No, yung flavors is hindi ka malilito. All honest flavors. Ganun yung masarap, di ba? Sa flavors ng pagkain, sa relasyon, masarap yung honest lang. Hindi ka nalilito, walang paligoy-ligoy. No? Basta straightforward and masarap lang. Next, grabe parang buffet, no? Take mo natin itong catfish. So, catfish, dito naman, what I put is a little bit of calamansi for the catfish or the hito. It's very simple. Napakabilis gawin. Pero makikita mo naman, di ba? And of course, ang hindi ko pagsasawaan is crabs. And yung kanyang alige. Paano ko ginagawa yan? Gumagawa ako ng alige rice on the spot. Minamassage ko yung Aligay sa kanin. Ang may taste. Mm. Deadly delicious. Tikman naman natin yung ating uh, squid. So make sure not to overcook the squid para hindi siya nagiging rubbery. Mm. Very tender. So, the grilled suahe. Mm. 
may atsara nga pala dito. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. You want to keep your seafood. Siyempre, ito yung may flavor natin. Yung nilagyan natin ng white wine. You want to keep them plain because pagdating sa mesa, bahala na yung bisita mo or bahala ka nang maglagay ng iba't ibang flavoring. O, so, meron ako ditong alamang with the ensalada because remember, yung ensalada, hindi natin nilagyan ng flavor masyado. Hindi natin inasnan. Just the natural saltiness from the salted egg. Mm. Ang sarap with the alamang. Pahingi pa nga nito. Hito. I'll try it with the alamang. And of course, this is the bangus na binalot natin sa foil para hindi siya ma-overcook. Mm. You get alamang, the bangus, so good. Kuha tayo dun sa ilalim para hindi na, hindi mapansin. Kasi diba, minsan yung gutom na gutom ka na, tapos may late kang bisita, yung sasabihin, ay, hintayin natin siya, hindi mo na mahintay. O, ayan, takpan mo ulit. Mukhang bago sa ulit. Mm. Siyempre, no, meron ako ditong garlic from the farm. Ang sarap-sarap. Alam mo yun? Yung parang kahit wala kang kadate, kahit mag-isa ka lang, ito yung hindi ka malulungkot. Kasi nasa harap mo na lahat na makakapagpasaya sa'yo. You want seafood, you want chicken, you want pork, you want fish. O gusto mo lang ng vegetable, salad. Ay nako, it's really so good. Mm. Teka lang, fruits na daw agad. Ine-enjoy ko pa yung ulam eh. Fruits na agad. Siyempre, may fruits ka dapat dyan. And pag namimiss mo yung lutong, You want texture? Oh, di partner mo din ang chicharon yan, di ba? So, natikman ko na lahat. Hindi ko po uubusin yan. Kami melon from China or Korea ata ito. Pwede na naman kung may hinihintay ka pa. Mag-dessert ka muna, tapos kumain ka ulit na muna para lang ma-refresh yung panglasa mo. It's so crunchy. And hindi siya sobrang tamis, pero tamang-tama lang yung kanyang tamis, hindi nakakaumay. So ano pang hinihintay mo? Magbabad ka na ng inasal, ilagay mo sa ref, and then the following day, pumunta ka sa palengke, or magpabili ka ng mga seafood, hindi naman kailangan ganitong kadami yung selection mo, iset up mo ng ganyan, modified, is safer at the moment, and then you enjoy. Nagagalit na yung mga naghihintay. Hindi kasi sila makakain dahil nandito pa ako. Ano pang hinihintay nyo? Gumawa ka na You enjoy your Budel feast the modified way. Take care always and I'm going to see you all soon.